Hello everybody. I want to show you real quick how to do those master pages and the um, wow paragraph styles that we had talked about. Such awesome resources. I think you're really going to like these and uh, it's going to be really helpful for you as you work on your portfolio projects. I am starting a new project here. I'm going to bump this over to inches so I can tell what's happening. Perfect. I want portrait orientation. I do want the facing pages. How many pages? Well, that depends how many projects you're doing. Um, on this one, I'll go ahead and throw in 15 pages. You can always come back and add more. Not a big deal. I'm going to hit create. And uh, you can see here, all uh, right, there we go. I've got my awesome new project. As I scroll down, I can see the spreads showing up. So this first one is going to be my cover page. Nice and easy. And then from there, I have my contact page, followed by my table contents, all required. And then you go from there. For my public relations classes, you'll drop in your resume and your cover letter into this space. For my advertising class, just start putting your project in, and then we just bump in all of our projects. So side one is going to be your description page, or and then side two is going to be your project itself where you show it. Um, so really nice and easy as you start working in these spaces. Something I'm going to do though is I'm going to use master pages. It allows me to quickly and easily uh, format all of the pages the same. So what I've done is I double clicked right here, right? And that took me into the master. You can see I don't have a whole bunch of pages anymore. And I'm going to drop in a design that I've been working with a little bit. I quickly threw together and I've placed it on my page. And what you notice now is I, as I double click, click and come back, I can see all of my individual pages are here and set up um, nice and easy. Like that took me, you know, hardly any time at all. And you say, oh, that alignment was off just a little bit. Okay, well, just arrow it over. Bingo. It's not a big deal. Um, and it's fixed. Okay. Um, so again, in the master pages, everything you do there will automatically show up across all of your pages. Wonderful thing there. And then I can go in and I can start um, changing out some of this text and maybe I want all of my text to be in Oswald um, or maybe actually I don't and I want Adobe Castlin Pro or whatever it is actually I want Rocket okay so find your fonts take a few minutes exploring Fontland don't just oh do me a favor please do not just use the defaults on your computer because that would be a sad thing to have happen and then of course we want strong hierarchy on this and so all of our subheadings should stand out um, maybe I go in here and mm, try to think let's make it bold or extra bold or just regular bold or whatever it is you want to do um, so I'll run into that and then uh, yeah if I think I'll do that and then I want to make this caps so I'm going to do uppercase okay so let's pretend that's the way I want that to look I actually don't like it but whatever um, so I design up my master page exactly the way we want it and then again I can come over here and I can quickly and easily grab all of this so right now I can't right I'm in the selection tool can't grab anything but if I hold shift command shift control if I'm on a PC and then click on it what that does is it breaks it out of the master so I can then begin to manipulate and change out my text and do all of that fun stuff and what I've done is I've now placed my design elements exactly the same and I just change out the text to match the project and it becomes a very very easy process now once you have changed something or once you have broken it from the master you can't bring it back around so what we do I'm going to command Z to undo that. So now I can't work with this anymore. I'm going to come back to my master and we're going to work with uh, paragraph styles. So what I'm going to do, window styles, paragraph styles. I selected this here. This is kind of how I want my headings to show up. So what I'm going to do is I've got this big pane right here. I'm going to come down here and click on the little plus. And I'm going to call this heading two because I want my heading one to be right here. And this will be heading two. All right, and then I double click that and I can see that it's pulled in all of those styles that I'm working with. I can say, ah, oh, you know, bold just isn't doing it for me. That's a little bit better. Okay, great. So I've got two paragraph styles set up. Now what I can do is I can come in here to date, click on heading two, and notice how that automatically updates and that's like the most amazing thing ever. That is really cool. Look at this. I'm designing. All right, nice and easy. And then we come with our text here. And now I've changed the text already to be a little bit how I want. So if I right click on this and hit redefine style, it will take whatever I've highlighted and drop it into that. 
but I can still come in and change it. And if I say, oh, you know what, this is too big, I need to drop it down to 10, which 10 and 11 are your kind of your magic numbers for most of your fonts, bingo. And notice how that changed it on all of those, which is super cool, okay? Now what's gonna happen, because I've applied those, let's add one more. I'm gonna select this right here, I'm gonna hit plus, and, oops, wrong one. Command Z, we live by it. Paragraph style one, there we go. I'm gonna call this one title, or H1 would work, heading one, whatever you wanna call it. Whatever, it's been given something, okay? Now I can come in here, and as I go to these other projects, pages, and I go to break this out, Shift, Command, or Control if you're on a PC, and click. Now I can change this out, brochure, project, description. Oh, it's not working. Okay, that's fine. Grab the selection tool, shift, command, click. Now I can go in and change this out for this. Whoops, that didn't work, did it? For this project, etc., etc., etc. Okay, so what I've done is I've very quickly and easily made this so that I can edit all of my pages. I have great consistency. My design stays the same across all of these, and I can keep working with this and make it a beautiful project. So hope that helps for you as you get going with this. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'm excited to see how your portfolios come out. They're going to be great.